Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack from Jack's Beer Life and welcome to the first official review for Top of the Hops. Um, so really excited to get this started, I just picked up my brand spanking new Top of the Hops glass today as you can see there. Really like the look of this, so can't wait to pour the beer in this. Um, but you're probably feasting your eyes on this bad boy at the moment, so you're probably asking Jack, what do we have here exactly? Well, as you can see, this is a beer, what else would it be? Um, and it is from a brewery, from Upfront Brewing. This is the first time I'm going to be having something from these guys. Um, and it is a Citra Mosaic and Strata Nectar IPA co-fermented with wild nectar yeast. Um, it doesn't actually have a name. I've noticed that the couple of cans that I've got from this brewery don't actually have names. Um, it just describes what you're going to be getting really in, in a way, which, which I quite like. Um, although when possibly discussing, you know, beers like this, and someone asks me, oh, Jack, you know, what was that beer you had the other day? Um, I'd prefer to maybe give it just a, you know, a name as such, rather than go, oh, it was, and then just read the description. Um, but nonetheless, sounds absolutely lovely, um, and it comes in at 8%. I'll just show you the beer can art here, as you can see. And then I'll just show you like the little bit on the side as well. Very nice. Okay, so without further ado, let's get it open. Right, I just realized I am gonna swap these around because um, I am left-handed, so I don't fancy pouring a beer with my right hand because it could go all sorts wrong. Um, but let's give this an open. Oh, <laughs> straight away there, lots of uh, citrus aromas coming out of the can there that just popped out. So we shall now give it a pour. Probably pour it off to say there so I can give it a bit of a swell. Just pop that there for now. Okay. Right, as you can see there, nice orangey, hazy colour. I mean, just initially passing it under my nose, you can get plenty of hoppy, citrusy aromas in straight away. Gonna go right in here. Mm. Liking it so far from the smell. It's not um and I mean it's not the the sphere aroma isn't too overpowering. Um you know it doesn't I mean I got plenty of it when I opened up the can. And then once you kind of pour it in, you put it on, you know, put your nose on top of the glass. It's uh, it's not as kind of hard hitting. Um, it, it just, in my opinion, unless I've got COVID, <laughs> I probably don't. Um, but I'm pretty sure my sense of smells, all, you know, still there. Um, however, though, yeah, I'm getting plenty. You know, it's all right. But I do have a feeling that the taste is going to be the, the hit, uh, the solid point for me. All right, cheers, everyone. Let's give it a go. It reminds me of how do I put this? It's almost like drinking. Fanta really, um, but it's beer. Um, oh, let me just go in again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. It's after a hot day today that we've had so far as well. I think it's been about like 18, 19 degrees up here in uh, the northeast of England. Um, that is really, really nice. Um, so far, 
I'm just I'm getting a slight bitter aftertaste, but there's not that um, kind of burn at the back of your throat from it, uh, which sometimes you kind of do get. Now I quite like that, I'll be honest, but it doesn't linger at all. If if anything, it's it's non-existent from what I can get so far from it. So I just want to talk a little bit about um, the brewery that I'm showing you today, which is Upfront Brewing. Um, just talk to you a little bit about you know where they're from, what they're about, etc. So they were founded in 2015, and they are based up in Scotland. Now the interesting thing that I read is that they don't actually have a set location. They are actually um, based all around really. They utilize other breweries to produce their beer. Now I did read that they mainly produce up in 71 Brewing, which is in Dundee, um, but they also utilize other breweries, you know, as and when they need to really. Um, and the interesting thing that I read about the name as well is that they are called Upfront Brewing because they started off, you know, with things like, you know, no loans, no Kickstarter programs, no investors, they paid everything up front. Um, so I'm guessing that's where they got the name Upfront Brewing from. Okay, so we're nearly at the end of the video and it is time to give my final verdict on this beer. So I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to score these beers that I'm going to review out of 10 as I feel that's probably the best way to you know review them um, and score them. So Upfront Brewing, Citra, Mosaic and Strata Nectar IPA shortest name I could find for it. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for me. It's it's tasty, nice aromas. I'll be honest, the aromas when they came out of the can, oh, amazing. Once they got put into the glass, they were a little bit subdued, but I think that was just because they were so hard hitting from the can initially. Um, I've never really experienced something like that before with a can opening actually. Um, so that was really nice, really good. Like I said, in the glass, a little more subdued, but then once you taste it, it's very light and very, very refreshing. Low bitterness, um, you know, nice sweet aftertaste for me personally. Um, so yeah, seven out of 10. Right guys, that concludes our first official review for Top of the Hops. I've had an absolute blast doing it and I can't wait to um, make more of these videos in the future. I'll leave a link in the description below um, to their website, Facebook and Instagram. And I'll also leave a link to my Instagram, Jack's Beer Life, in the description below as well. Um, once again, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers. Happy drinking. <laughs>